guys welcome back to another video so the previous video that you guys just saw was a thrift haul hope you guys enjoyed that if you haven't seen that video go back and watch it but today what we're going to do is something i'm very excited about if you've ever spent any time with me you know how much i love this uh so if you read the title you already know what it is but we're going to talk about my journaling and stationery collection really quickly that's what these two shelves here are on my little shelf so if you want to see what I used to journal with, then keep on watching. I've been journaling since I was like 12-ish, 13-ish. It's when I started like writing down things because I wanted to remember things. This is the first time doing like creative scrapbook journaling junk journal. What are they called? There's so many different names for different types of journaling that I'm trying, so we'll list them right here. That's the kind of journal. This is my first time doing this kind of journaling. So when I first started looking into journaling, these were the pins. So I got these are, these are like my everyday journaling supplies. The Tombow pens. So I got a thicker one and a thinner one. And it comes in a set. I think it's $6, something like that, for this set. So I got them. They're brush pens. So they work really well. I like them a lot. Actually, sometimes I catch myself just like regular writing down things with them because I like them so much. So these are my everyday pins that stay like with me in my purse and this is my everyday journal and it just says daily journal it's got like 50 or 60 pages it is not lined i think it was so this is what i also keep with me every single day and I, so next i guess we're going to start with the shelf down here um this one was actually just a gift that my mother got me years ago and i have not used it all yet proof i don't need any more paper um i just usually leave it on my desk and take notes random things I need to get done. Next, we've got some like spirally notebook things. Marbleized spiral. It's just regular old lined paper. I use these in my purse for like writing down notes and stuff when I'm grocery shopping or whatnot. And this one is the set. I actually gave one to the youth group at my church. So um, it's missing one, but it's so cute. It has cacti on it. I couldn't leave it there. They're so cute. Next not actual journaling stuff. These are calendar slash planners. I got this one last year when they first put their calendars out at Dollar Tree because I was like, that's cute. I need another calendar. I don't in fact actually use it anymore because I got this one and it was way cuter and I like it a lot. This is like my church notebook. I usually write notes down for church stuff in it. It has not been with me lately again because I cleaned out my personal note, but I might retire this one and use a different one because it's starting to look kind of gnarly. This one I just got the other day and this one I just got the other day. Dollar Tree has super cute stuff now guys. If you didn't know, now you know, go to your local Dollar Tree to get stuff like this because they're really cute, they're really great for gifts. Do it, but don't be like me and buy a whole bunch of them when you don't need them. This journal that I have literally had for like three years. Next, my AYC journal, look at it. Uh, this one I've also had for forever. This one says, make today amazing. And it's got every day of the week. It's in my little note. Too many days in my little washi tape collection. I get my washi tape from all over the place. So, you know, pizza's bae. And then like a little animal print and then like hearts. I think that one is from Valentine's Day. Huge collection. All of this washi tape that's super thin is from the Dollar Tree. And then I got these when I first started getting into the journal in life. And these, the reason why I got them is because they are on little dispensers. You wanna get into journaling or scrapbooking or anything having to do with paper and small sections? Get these, get you a pair of tiny scissors. So I've got a Sharpie. And then a whole stack of pins, ink pads. We got a black ink pad and a gold one. I had a copper one and it's spilled ink everywhere. Just this is like one of those press ink stamps. I picked this one up the other day and it is a ruler. So it's got different sayings and things on it. And you just dip it in the ink. Got those four that go in the set. And then these two as well. And apparently I got ink on this. And then of course, if you're gonna do any type of journaling or scrapbooking, you need a tiny stapler. It's used for cutting the paper. So when I have paper products that need to be cut, then it has a nice little ruler. So that's really great if I don't wanna use the scissors because the scissors are really for more precise things. But if I'm just cutting big pieces of something down a little bit, I just need to my current set of thank you cards. Like I said, there are more in my little craft 
drawer. A lot more in my craft drawer. Um, these I just bought the other day because I was in a rush and I needed thank you cards immediately. So I bought these. Um, and it's just got a little hummingbird. It says warmest thanks. Uh, and then this little set I bought together. They go together. One says thank you. One says thanks. Gold polka dots. On this one, I don't know if you can see it. It looks really washed out from where I can see. So those are the ones that I have out currently. If you want a card from me, it doesn't have to be a thank you card. Like, totally hit me up in the DMs and I'll write you a letter because I've got so many little note cards. But if you just want a letter or a note, let me know. We can do friend mail. These are actually supposed to be for cupcakes, but I'm totally gonna break them down and take them off of the skewers and use them in my journal. Look really cute. Got a whole bunch of different things in it. Uh, two sets of each one. So it's got goals, payday, vacation, important, bills due, don't forget, daily notes, and then it's got appointment times and meeting times and birthday times and just, if you have a journal or a planner, it's an awesome little set of stickers. Uh, last but not least are these stencils. They're journaling stencils. So for people like me who are a little, a tiny bit uh, creatively challenged, it gives you like your manners into your journal or your planner or whatever. They're really cute. I think I paid maybe $10 for them. Like in this little set the other day I discovered has all kinds of things on it. It's got like the Google Plus thing. It's got the Pinterest, what? It's got Twitter and Snapchat, Facebook. I don't see Instagram. This is the coolest little set. I will definitely leave it linked down below if anybody's interested in getting one of these. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see more stuff about journaling, please leave a comment down below or like this video to let me know that you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!